Hi. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> What up, what up? Welcome back to Hella Jam. As you can tell from the title, this is a messy house tour. Very non-traditional. And this is for all of my neurodivergent messy hoes. This is for you. You aren't alone. I hope this brings you comfort to see my house that is a shit show. So yeah, for my other neurodivergent babies, Hi. I'm so tired of just like seeing all these beautifully created homes and not seeing these homes actually lived in. And that's just the way our home is. My husband and I both are neurodivergent and that's okay. I've held so much shame for not being a clean and tidy person and that's just not how my brain works and I need to kind of give myself grace on that. I want my home to look nice. I love having it filled with like items that bring me joy and bright beautiful like thrifted home decor but at the same time i'm just not a tidy person it's one of my biggest insecurities as an influencer as a youtuber as a mom as a woman and i just feel like if i just put it out there for the world to see it doesn't hold any weight on me anymore like it's not like i'm holding anything back i am fully 100 percent free myself so it's almost like take me as i am um which is a very liberating feeling so Hopefully with this video, I can share more messy corners and show the transformation of just like me trying to make the home a little bit tidier and organized because that isn't my strong suit. All right, so let's get to the video. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, you can call me Jam. I'd love for you to be part of the Hello Jam family. What up, Hello Jam fam? Don't mind the, con the congestion. <laughs> It has been raining like crazy in the bay and then it gets really sunny and anyone with allergies, you know, when it rains and then it's sunny the next day, you are effed. This is the result of it. You need to like take Allegra and Zyrtec and Phonase, not all of them, but um, you need to take your meds. Originally, I was gonna do a video putting together an altar. I looked around and I was like, this place is nutty. And I feel like as a full-time parent, aren't all parents full-time? Um, wow, th th it is. It is the wild, wild west here right now. Like, it is wild. crazy. Look at this. Oh, hey, I wasn't expecting you there. Let's lock the door. It's windy out. This is the reality of our entry area. We have coats <laughs> hanging over our... Uh, closet door you know we could just put it in our closet why is it like that i don't know why do i hang these here who knows this was supposed to be an area for the kids to put their jackets but we realized we have so many jackets that that's not going to hold it for them and not much storage for all the shoes like look at all these shoes those are all my shoes so many cute shoes yeah there's just a lot going on here hi <laughs> oh Hi. Um, okay, so you turn to your left, the kitchen. Cat food, cat food, coffee station. We're all allergic here. <laughs> if you are a parent or not, dishes are just never ending. <sighs> yeah. Um, how cute is this? So for anyone who's like, I thought you were imperfect sustainability, this is part of imperfection. I've tried all of the other like dish, dish soap bars. It just does not clean as good as much as we would like. Same with the daddy, go daddy sponge. This is the best sponge ever, ever. Okay, that's it. This is our drying mat. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just really, really, really like, I, we need a bread. Thing. We go through a lot of Hawaiian rolls here. This is so disgusting. Look at all this plastic. It's so unnecessary. Kids love bagels in the morning. This is my oatmeal that I haven't eaten yet, which I should probably eat right now so I don't pass out. And, oh my, oh. That's, it is what it is, y'all. I'll eat that later. This is the garage. Our dining room table, which was thrifted or secondhand, I found it on Facebook Marketplace, and then these chairs are from Ikea. 
Steph got me flowers for our anniversary. Even though I'm not much of a flower girl, I prefer a dried bouquet. This dried bouquet, friend on Facebook, her internet friend was selling all of these because she used to make like dry bouquet arrangements and I was like, I will totally buy it off of you. So I've yet to make a dry bouquet. It is here because I have the intention of constructing one, but I haven't had the time to. I, for whatever reason, really, really wanted this pepper grinder, um, but it came a little bit chipped and I'm just deciding whether or not I should just return it and get a new one that isn't chipped or just like take it as is. But it's a pepper grinder, look how cute it is. I wanted something that had uh, color to it because I wanted to add some like flavor to that sad kitchen. We have our hot pot there and then some clothes that were dried that for whatever reason are right there because they were drying there and then we needed to eat so we just took it off and put it there. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. This is our donation pile, middle of March and we have gingerbread houses that we never use but they're still good so maybe someone can use it. This is the kids play area. This rug is ruggable and it's actually in the washer right now because Disco had a couple of accidents. This rug needs to be uh, donated because we are giving it away because it's just filthy. It's a shag rug. If anyone wants to deep clean it, you can take it. But yeah, this is the play area. This is the reality of it. You know, like the kids are just always causing trouble. Um, it probably doesn't help that their parents are neurodivergent too and so it's just kind of hard for us to just keep the house tidy. Where we store more of their toys, depending on what their activities are, we'll put it in the shed. Uh, so we'll put like the Hot Wheels in the shed, this giant thing will go in the shed. Um, but this is the reality of what it looks like right now. I was thinking about putting like ABCs there so the kids could just have something to learn while they're with me before they go to kindergarten. This is their little table where they eat breakfast and lunch if they're not eating at the table with us. Every morning we're like rushing to leave the house and so we haven't made it a practice to like to have their, the kids clean up after themselves. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Allergies. This just ends up being our junk table where you literally throw everything here. Cool. This, this is an Ikea table or drawer set. Um, that we just added and drilled th those legs there just for the baby. We originally got this for the nursery to make it into a changing table. Um, and we needed a place to store our shoes. So we're like, let's just reuse it instead of just donating it or selling it. Let's just make the most of what, what we have. So I would like to add some like uh, cool stuff on there, but really like we just don't have enough storage here. Cause we, we got a lot of shoes. This is our living area. It is a lot to handle. <laughs> this is a love sack that our friends uh, second hand, they got a custom couch and so we bought this, this off of them. Obviously it doesn't really match our color scheme so I think we're gonna get a new cover or I was thinking about putting like denim drapes over it. Thought that'd be cute. Laundry that needs to be folded, laundry that needs to be folded. Laundry need to put that away. Disco loves this little area. This is an area that I wanted to make into our altar uh, We just moved this here. It was in the office some Stuff that needs to be hung Hi <laughs> This is our TV area my favorite part is our gallery wall Unfortunately, my plants aren't doing as well in this location, um, just because we don't, obviously, we don't get that much sun. This lamp was, uh, I got it on Facebook Marketplace. It's an old CB2. I got both of them for like $50, so $25 each. I have another one right there. This is a stool that we usually use for when the kids want to help me cook, um, but sol has been using it as a little hoop to play basketball. That's how much I know about basketball. These are all toys that we need to get like a proper bin for other things that he plays around with. But the this is all donation. As you can see, this is the only vertical space in our 
place. It's the only shelf that we have. So these are all of the remaining plants that are somewhat alive that are actually pretty much dying. Um, and then this is where the kids' toys are as well as in their room. Ideally, I would like to make this more like a Montessori Waldorf st uh, style with like less toys here so they can use their imagination and more toys in their in their room. That is the messy living room. Sol made this at preschool. He said he's thankful for having a fun life and that's his handprint. It just made me so happy so I just put it up there. <laughs> and this is him when he was a little babe with disco. My hair looks crazy because I was chasing after the trash because it's been so windy and like I had to get all of the trash and all the recycling because I just can't let plastic just run free down my street. So I was literally just like waiting there until my garbage and recycling person came. That's why I look like this. Yeah, we don't have that many photos like in our home of us. One, because I just have commitment issues and I just haven't gone around to printing it, but also like I don't like seeing myself because I do this for a living and I see myself all the time. And I, like I would love to have family photos here, but I just, I don't want to do it. I take all the photos, I document it, but I don't, it's not up here. Okay, let's go over the coffee table. I'm gonna be completely honest, it doesn't take that long to clean, but I wanted to show you what it's like when the kids leave for daycare and what it looks like. <laughs> allergies, allergies, Leo, soul, Leo, soul, mine, Leo. If you guys are Filipino, this cookbook is amazing. Down the hallway we go. This all needs to go in the garage. This is Halloween crafts. Our disgusting bathroom. Oh my God, I don't even wanna talk about it. This is our office space. Steph prefers it like this because he likes the dungeon. We're still working on it. I need to clean all of that. But we stayed up really late at night and organized all of this. So now I know where all my camera stuff is. This is all of this music stuff. Hey. Okay, this outfit's wild, but it was really cold outside and I just wanna finish filming this. So this is the kids' room. We used to have the beds side by side because they like sleeping next to each other and they wanted both of us, but we recently switched it over. This is Soul's bed. Um, he had an accident last night, so I had to strip it and just like literally stumbled into my room and I was like, we'll handle it tomorrow. Leo's side. I accidentally got a hammock that's way too big for the space, and so that's why it literally drops on her head. But yeah, my favorite part is their wardrobe area. So cute. We put the closet or the drawers against the little nook, that way they can pull it out. Now they're excited to actually like find clothes. For Leo and so we labeled it, tops, and then the little emoji there. there whatever ideally we would like to remove this and uh, get a different storage solution where it's all one level and then our bedroom yeah this is my closet area somehow ends up really messy. Um, this, my friend drew, but we have to pull it up because the kids pull it down and I just don't want it to be ruined. This bed is Floyd. Um, when they first got started before they were in West Elm, it's amazing. We recently got the, this bedding, like a sham and all of that good stuff and a quilt from the Jungalo. This is a mirror that I thrifted that I plan on like making it cute. What I want to do is I want to add pom-poms here. Any type of like recycled material, I want to add on the edges, maybe add some cardboard, make like a makeshift squiggle mirror for the kids wardrobe. So it really feels like a dressing room in there. Maybe just add some like, just kind of make it like a cool arts and crafts project that we can do together. We do not have a TV in here. And so this is our projector that we put 
up there so when we want to watch in our bed it's actually really really nice to not have a tv in the bedroom it's kind of just like our little safe sanctuary to just rest um once again it's very very dirty but that goes without saying <laughs> these are all of their books we are trying to figure out the best storage solution for their books in their bedroom uh, but right now it's just like smack dab here <laughs> And then this is our bathroom. It is absolutely disgusting. Like, and then the litter box is down there. I am very fortunate to have a roof over my head. Very fortunate to be able to rent a house where our kids can run free and be safe, first and foremost. The goal is to buy a home after, um, when we are able to, but this place, like, when it's clean, it looks good. It definitely needs a lot of work, and it is an older home. Like, for whatever reason, like, there isn't any ventilation in our bathroom, and so it always smells really bad. We need two litter boxes. So we have one litter box, because we have two cats, one in the master bedroom. There's no door, so it always smells like cat litter in here, no matter how often you clean it, and there's no ventilation. And then also in our kids' bathroom. The bathrooms are just, I just feel just so, 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 so gross. To repaint the walls and make it really our own is just like, that's something that I've always wanted to do, but it just takes so much time and energy and effort. With two kids um, and with steps back, I just, we have to be really, really careful on how we use our time. Because ultimately, does it really matter that much? No. We have to like really protect our energy and figure out how much energy we want to put into a rental and we don't even know how long we're going to stay here one thing i do want to show you this right here is a hole that's from me and this is a hole from steph and i want to share that when we are in our depths of depression as parents with two kids one born right after the pandemic right after a lockdown uh, it was really, 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 really hard, especially because he had chronic pain and he was like on opiates all the time and was just like super grumpy and because he was in so much pain, not anymore, he's like so much better. He was in opiates because the doctor prescribed it. He got off of opiates because he used cannabis. He's like so much better and surgery. Anyway, those holes are for a lot of people something that you would be embarrassed about and yes, we are embarrassed about it, but we are trying our best as parents. Both Stefano and I have our own trauma that we are working through, our own anger, our own frustrations. Those moments are when we really were pushed to the limit, when life was just really, really, really hard. We haven't patched it yet, we plan to. When I see those holes in the wall, it's like a reminder of how far we've come, mentally, physically, emotionally, how much we've grown as parents. Parenting is really hard. How do you not lose your shit when you have two babies that don't even really know how to communicate or handle their emotions and are constantly like hitting you out of frustration? But yeah, there are holes all over this wall. It's dirty. The baseboards are gross. It wasn't even painted properly before. Like there wasn't even like a sharp line. I'm planning on using those curtains and putting it on our couch. But nonetheless, it is a home that we are able to call our safe space and we're thankful for it. All of our recycling is being thrown all over the place. See, look at that. Oh my God. Literally, again, again. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope this brought you comfort if you too are just like a messy person, get distracted easily, get overwhelmed really easily. I hope you just feel like you're not alone. I think the biggest thing is as long as we're trying our best every single day, trying to be better every single day, that's all that matters. So yeah, now I'm gonna tidy up. It shouldn't take too long. And I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Share the video with any other ADD neurodivergent people or messy people. Okay, peace.